Wahala for Niger eh, they for church projects. You know they ever finish your life. Anyway, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny. So, guys, in today's video, I just want to tell you guys what really caused the death of this young man you are seeing on my screen. Like, this is so sad. I don't know if it's to cry or to laugh, and yeah. So, I'll just tell you guys what happened, then we'll analyze it. So, guys, um, this guy you are seeing right here is a Lagos state socialite his name is Kayode Badru and he dies after his pastor allegedly sprayed perfume on him while holding a light candle bombshell what a bombshell can you imagine so guys like this man is based in B Dubai but he's always in Lagos to socialize and attend functions and help people a lot so he flew into Nigeria to celebrate with um, 40 students he gave scholarships who we are graduating so when he came in he was said to have visited the Celestia Church of Christ because that's the church he attends. So um, the elders there, they want to pray for him and they ask him to kneel down why they surrounded him um, with light candles. They were about seven elders of the church so him too was holding a candle then the prophet of the church whose name is felix sprayed perfume on his body from his head to toe like guys they said within few minutes his body caught fire so they rushed him to hospital before then he has already suffered severe burns and he died hours later guys honestly this is so so sad this is so so sad to hear like this is this is something that would have been avoided honestly everybody knows perfume spray is um inflammable when in close contact with fire so what the heck did they do to that for i think why did they do that for he just like will i say they just committed manslaughter in a stupid way who does that man like what kind of perfume is that what is the name of this perfume self they use on him yeah like how on earth would someone spray perfume on another with light candles like not even one candle they have plenty candle around him he and he's still holding one candle like it seems like this looks like they 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 plan to roip this man i'm not saying but like me looking at it me like when you hear the story you said that right? these people that did this thing are they babies hmm? are they babies this is one thing about how people practice um will i say religion in nigeria yeah this is is will i say is ignorance or illiteracy this is a very very like a costly mistake nigerians sh should stop doing past bible yeah they do pass what bible tell them to do extra biblical practices are very dangerous the bible is enough and the bible is, is straight forward the bible did not say you should spray somebody perfume when you are holding candle the bible did not even tell us to practice all those those goro goro things they they do in nigeria sometimes you see people holding knife and um, cane you ask them where are they going to they said they are going to church today is flog your enemy or today is kill your enemy imagine we are thousands of people are holding knife we are thousands of people are holding cane flogging their enemy imagine what will happen a lot of people will be injured but they will not say it but look at 
look at this young man look at this promising young man you can imagine this kind of man that sponsored 40 people imagine imagine the kind of good heart he had imagine this this 40 people these 40 students that he gave scholarship how they'll be feeling no bijuju be this people who said make your goodness no kill you why would the elders put that candle aside and lay hands on him and pray like a normal human being does why spraying perfume why asking him to hold candle it's very very dangerous even if they did not spray perfume for him to be holding candle and they use candle to circle him is not nice it's, it's dangerous why when will africans like mainly nigerians learn to practice religion in a biblical way without all these stuffs have you heard anywhere in the bible where they circle someone with a um, candle and spray perfume on him like eh? Yeah? this 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 man's death is so fishy like will i say they have they they plan this stuff this is so pathetic yeah this is so pathetic yeah guys i don't really know what to say but we should know what we do all these days oh like if your pastor tell you to do something you know let me pray for you let the pastor just lay hand on you and pray all those jagba jagba all those things they will bring and ask you to hold one don't try it to don't hold the one that will end your life imagine this man now that went to the house of god to receive blessings from elders and he he that's brought the end of his life if na Igbo people they will say kehi ga korochige what will you tell your god that happened to you like this man is a learned man he's 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 um he's not an illiterate even an illiterate will know that perfume and fire does not go hand in hand this man this man is well learned so why would he allow this kind of thing to before him will i say this the devil's work because nowadays if people make mistake they will blame it on the devil this is pure ignorance and will i yeah i would say is will i i would say is ignorance and mistake from the pastor's side and all those people all those elders involved like they should know better but this man as a young man let's assume that those pastors are old people like they refer them as elders let's assume that they're old people they don't know much so what about this man here he should know more i'm not blaming the dead but this this kind of death is something that that can be avoided but due to we 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 nigerians we have this this attachment to religion and especially um christian religions we have this attachment to if your pastor asks you to do this you must do it if you don't do it you are disobeying him or you are not following the god's way and all that like we have this strong attachment to what our pastor said sometimes they'll ask them to bring coconut and break it on their head what if you break your head and blood will split everywhere what will you tell your god if he dies you tell him that your pastor said this is just pure case of um doing um doing something like overdoing yourself or will i say doing past the bible or the or you both people know go you try this kind of thing even even primary school people some people they have already known they have taught them in school that perfume and um, fire does not go hand in hand so why would this grown men do this kind of thing it's suspicious it looks fishy and at the same time i don't know what to say because we can't judge maybe they have been practicing it in their church and this kind of thing have not happened but me i doubt it because if they have spread perfume on someone in their church while holding a candle i think something like this would have happened maybe i think they they just maybe this is the first time of them trying it on this man or maybe they feels that they are blessing this man or maybe they feels that they are praying for this man but they never know that this will lead to the man's death 
like this elders feels that this man has done something great like giving scholarships sponsoring these 40 students throughout their um, studies is a very great thing and maybe he needs blessings and they said oh we elders need to pray for this man but they never know that this prayer will lead to his death like i'm so so sad about this man's death i don't know how his family will be feeling right now i don't know how those um, elders will be feeling right now i don't know how the pastor will be feeling right now they will feel so guilty let's assume that they don't know that this kind of thing will happen or it's not a planned deal so how would they be feeling right now guilty and sad like they will feel so sad and guilty for the rest of their lives honestly guys let's wake up there is some things your pastor will tell you to do then in pastor i beg go oh, i know if you do this one you understand just tell your pastor i beg a pastor i know if you do this one let's try another thing to save your life and to save the pastor from going to prison let's let's just be guided make make we know do pass within the bible right though yeah so that is all for this video like i don't know what to say all i can say is may his soul and the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of god rest in peace thank you so much guys for watching and i love you guys i'll see you guys in my next video i love you guys bye bye Mwah.